We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and profiling an elected official who has made a name for herself standing up for the rights of workers. State Senator Jessica Ramos is the daughter of immigrants from Colombia and grew up in the same Queens community she now represents. She's part of a new generation of politicians who unseated longtime incumbents. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon has her story. Jackson Heights may be New York's most diverse neighborhood. One indication this is a melting pot is what gets cooked in it. You can have pretty much anything from nearly any corner of the world and know that it's going to taste pretty authentically. State Senator Jessica Ramos grew up here and now represents this neighborhood along with Corona and East Elmhurst. She says that means her approach puts a high priority on workers' rights. One of the things that always stays with me is, of course, my parents' story and how as immigrants from Colombia who came here in the late 70s, you know, had, of course, their set of challenges. And I never want my parents to feel like their sacrifices were in vain. And I know a lot of immigrant children feel that way, and it's why we work extra hard. In March 2020, Elmhurst Hospital was at the center of the pandemic. As so many frontline workers in the community and their family members got sick, from the very dangerous first strain of the coronavirus to hit New York City. At seven o'clock, we'd all open our windows and clap and, you know, bang pots and pans as a thank you to our health professionals and so many essential workers who've never received hazard pay or treat or true compensation and recognition. Ramos was first selected in 2018, part of a new generation of Queens Democrats unseating longtime incumbents in primaries. And she says she's hoping to get even more young people engaged in politics. If we took the time to actually learn how the different levels of government work, and I, I wish, you know, schools did a better uh, job of teaching this, that we, uh, that we could keep uh, an engaged electorate, you know, and that everyone who actually does register to vote does it. <laughs> In Jackson Heights, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.